Happy New Year everyone. Today I'd like to show you a quick demo of using single cycle waveforms with the Pico Tracker. Now, if I'm showing you the Pico Tracker, you might be wondering why is the poly in here? Well, I wanted to start off by showing how to use single sign waves on the poly end and in comparison how we use them on the poly tracker to give a better explanation of what's going on. So first off, I've just got like the Adventure Kid Waveform single cycle waves um, ePiano 36 here loaded in. Now this is not a poly end tracker tutorial, so I'll just keep this part pretty brief. So as you can see, what I've done is I've loaded that in and if I go back to the sample playback, if we just preview it, all we hear is a little thump sound because it's on one shot. So what we'd need to do is set it to forward loop. But now you can see just, it's just a continuous tone. And just, it rings out as long as it's activated. Now that's because we don't have any envelope set on here and the polyene tracker has an ADSR envelope that we can use. So what we'd normally do is when we're using single side waves is want to have some sort of envelope for them. So I can turn it on here and if we now preview you can hear it sounds much more an e piano maybe the release might need a little bit more might just give that a little bit more but it sounds all right so that's basically what you need to do you need to have an adsr envelope now if we come to the same thing on the tracker here on the pico tracker let's just open up our demo project. So what we've got here is I've set up a demo project all ready to go to keep this nice and quick. And here I've put in some notes which actually match the notes I've got here on the polyene tracker. I'll show that in a sec. So I've brought in the instruments here. Now I've imported the same waveform. Now let me just Set this back to how it would be by default, which would be on the no loop. Now, and I'll turn that off with spoilers. So if I play that now, let's just switch it over. Can't hear anything. Sorry, oh, I've got the volume turned down. So let's just this would so by default this would be say like this when you import it, and that's what it sounds like trying to play those notes, which is basically what we had before when we tried that with a poly loop without a loop. So let's go back and set the loop mode. ideal and it doesn't sound like what we want so if we go back to the poly end that's more like what we want so I just go back here what we need to do on we don't have ADSR like we do here on the poly end so what we in fact need to do is use a feature called tables to simulate having an ADSR envelope. So if we now set a table, and here's one, as they say, I prepared earlier, what you need to do is you need to create some volume uh, effects on here to create the volume, that ADSR envelope, the volume going up, whoops, up and across decay and then release. So, yeah, up, decay, sustain, release. 
Now, one thing to make this that you need to do to make this work that I got it from a uh, cheat sheet for the um, a little QP tracker that's running firm that's running from on here is that you need to start the volume off at zero because remember we need to, need to, it needs to be down the bottom so the volume can rise for the attack. So we'll set that to zero and if we start playback. actually hear something this now because what happens is the volume we've got the first volume FX here which takes the volume up and the way it works is that the first the first two digits is the number that how fast it goes up how quickly it gets to the volume that's in the second two digits so FF is the highest value possible so it's going up and the lower the number the faster it goes so it's going up very quick so we've got a very short attack here then we've got uh, another volume command for the decay which takes it down to c0 we might maybe even make it a bit lower b0 then another volume command that more slowly takes it back down to zero now if we play this now what you can, what you might be able to hear, is something more like what we were expecting. Not exactly right, and it's clicking because uh, what we actually have, apart from the volume command, is a hop command. Now, what this hop command does is, if you watch it, it the little arrow will hop here. So what I'm having to do is give it an extra delay because by without it, if I take it away, you can hear that it's not enough time for the essentially for the release to ring out. So why don't we put oops put the hop back? And you can actually hear it as I edit it. sounding single cycle waveform on the Pico Tracker where you don't yet have ADSR, hopefully that's coming soon, but in the meantime you can use tables to essentially create your create an ADSR envelope using the table func uh, FX commands. So if I now start playing these two together, let's take the volume down on both of them. So there's the Pauline tracker. There's the Pico. So let's just switch. There's, I just got it on the mixer. So there's the Pico. And there's the, there's the Polyant. Just trying to make the volumes a bit more similar. There's the Pico. There's the Polyant. So as you can see, it's not quite the same. And we've got that clicking, but if you played around with these commands a bit more, you could get much closer to the ADSR. But as you can see, using a table is much more fiddly than using, give us turn that down a bit, is much more fiddly than using the table commands to try and reproduce the same sort of effect. But this is, if you want to have an ADSR envelope, in the Pico Tracker right now, this is how you would do it. You could do it with tables. And let's have a listen to them both together. Well, actually, let's, let's just double check. I think maybe if we just, oh. ah, let's just get the tempos the same because I think we're at 130 here and let's, oops, let 
Let's match the tempos. And start them off together again. There we go. Now, just one more time. Pico. Polyend. Pico. Polyend. Pico. Polyend. Together.